Hello, welcome to day six of Vlogmas. Today, it is time to decorate the Christmas tree. So I wanted to talk about some of my favorite ornaments because I think I have a lot of unique and cool ornaments. This is one of my absolute favorite ornaments. I made Christmas tree ornaments in pre-K, kindergarten, second grade, and third grade. Unfortunately, after third grade, we never made any more. But this one from third grade is one of my favorites. It's not just an ordinary ball ornament. It also has my little handprint on it, and I drew snowmen on the handprint. I think that it's very cute. Here's a bathtub ornament. It may be a bit of a strange ornament, but I remember getting this years ago as a kid. My mom and I were at a store, and she let me get two ornaments. One that I got was a pizza ornament, which unfortunately has since then broken. And one of them was this bathtub ornament. It's definitely a fancy bathtub, so maybe it's kind of got Christmas spirit. I know that there were some official LPS ornaments in the past, and I think those are really cool. I especially like the one of Chihuahua number one. They seem to be rather obscure LPS merch and not very well known within the community, but I know that some people know of them and some people even have them. Here's another one of my absolute favorite ornaments, this beautiful penguin sliding on an ice cube. I remember my parents got this one for me when I was maybe around 8 years old, because penguins are my favorite animal in real life, and I love it. It's been years since I've had a real Christmas tree, and it smells nice. This tree is also bigger than the ones I've had the past few years. Before we go on to the advent calendar, I just wanted to talk about the recent developments there have been regarding the new LPS because there has been a lot of exciting news recently. Okay, so I don't remember who originally posted this, I just know LPS Cobol talked about it in his video, so I'm, I just went to his video to find it. So first I wanted to talk about how we heard from the last giveaway winner and found out the code because most of the message on the little letter was in pink but then there were some letters that were in blue and when you put each of the giveaway winners letters together you got a code and it is pre-sale will drop in december so by pre-sale i'm thinking that they mean like you can pre-order the pets but they do not yet seem to be available for pre-order but apparently in a certain location they're not available for pre-order they are on the shelves and you've probably seen this already but i want to talk about it too and give my thoughts so apparently there have been some images on Facebook and I believe also on Instagram of some LPS in stores. And I believe it's just a Toys R Us in Canada. I think a few different Toys R Us stores, but yeah, they seem to be available on the shelves now in Canadian Toys R Us. And I believe people also found information about them on the Canadian Toys R Us website, but they are not available for pre-order. We've been seeing a bunch of sets that we were already familiar with, like, like sets that have been advertised on Amazon Canada before, or sets we saw from the Toy Fair, and also some new ones that we hadn't seen before. So apparently these are some stock images found on Toys R Us Canada's website, and these are of the two packs. I think that there are definitely a lot of cute pets here. Some of these we had already seen, but now we get a more up-close look at them. 
The ones that I like the most are definitely the wolf cat and the fish, the walrus and the dolphin, the llama, and I think that's a possum. I like the chameleon and the toucan. I like the wolf cat with the axolotl. I mean, I like all of them, really. I like some more than others. I also really like the addition of three accessories per pack. I think that's really nice. I heard that the art easel is a new accessory, and yeah, I hadn't seen it before, so maybe it is new. I like the lemonade. I think the wolf cat and the fish set is a really good set because it's got a bunch of good accessories. It's got the little sushi platter. It's got the drink. It's got the stereo. This llama looks very similar to a previous llama, but I don't have any LPS llamas, and I would like to have one. I also like the little cheese food accessory that comes with this cat and this dog. Yeah, I definitely like a lot of the accessories, and this walrus I know is not the same as the blind box walrus, but I remember seeing it kind of in the distance in the Toy Fair photo. But because of the kind of similar base color, which now I can see is a bit of a different shade of blue, I thought that, like, I, I didn't give it much thought. I didn't really think about if it was a new walrus or like a variant, but no, I guess this is a different walrus that is being sold in a two-pack. And yeah, these pets are really cute, and we already knew this with pets like the axolotl and whatnot. But it looks like they're definitely going to be with at least some of the molds, multiple designs of the same molds. Like here's a Clydesdale horse and we already know there's going to be a Clydesdale horse in the blind boxes. So yeah, that's an example. So there are a lot of these molds that are being used more than once in the reboot and I think that's great. I think a lot of these pets are great. I think these are some of the ones I'm most excited for. Here are some more stock images. These are of the pets in the three pack tube packs. Honestly, I really like that otter. I think that's really cute. There have been like at least three or four new otters. They're making a lot of otters. And this set we didn't really know until recently. I like I can point with my tail, that's cute. But we saw these kind of at the toy fair. And then this last set, Apso Dog. I actually have the one that that's based off of. Yeah, as you can see, extremely similar. I don't know if this is just the stock photo, but maybe the new one has like a darker shade of blue for the eyes. And I saw this dog in the Toy Fair photos and I was like, that looks exactly like an old pet. Although I could see that there was some kind of mark on its head and it was in multiple images. So I knew it wasn't just like a mistake or something, but yeah, it does look like it has a personality mark on its head. So it's not the exact same pet, but I'm not looking for pretty much just a replica of this pet. And also not a big fan of a lot of the other pets in that tube, so I probably won't be getting that tube, but I do really like this one and I might get this one as well. This one was apparently on Amazon Spain. Also not available for purchase yet, but it's this different set with an iguana, a jaguar, and a little monkey or chimpanzee. So that's interesting. I like the little banana. Yeah, so we've gotten a lot of images recently of these new sets, and I guess some of them are already available. I don't know if they're going to be available in America before January, but I'm kind of hoping that they'll be released in January because that's when I was planning on getting them and I have enough stuff planned for this month anyway. But we'll see. A lot's been happening at once and I am happy for Canada that some people, that some collectors may be able to get some of these pets. I think that is cool. Oh, and one more thing that I wanted to mention about the LPS on the Canadian Toys R Us website. Here I have this from Pumpkin's Customs story. They posted about some exclusives. Now, I did not even know if there were going to be exclusives. I know in the past there were like Walmart exclusives, Target exclusives, exclusives for certain stores, and then there were also country exclusives like Mexico exclusives, Brazilian exclusives, French exclusives. You could only get them in a certain country and so they'd become more rare. And especially nowadays, I know that the LPS economy is crazy, so I know that these pets are going to be sold for ridiculous prices, but yeah, I guess here are our first exclusives. These I heard are specifically yeah, it says only available at Toys R Us Canada, so specifically only Toys R Us in Canada, but I don't think there are Toys R Us in America anyway, at least I don't think there are any anymore near me. But yeah, so we have these two pack sets, I think they're called Petfluencers. Somebody said that they're basically like the replacement for postcard pets, so I don't really know what exactly is the theme or what exactly is going on with these sets. What I do know is that I really think that the otter and the dolphin are cute. And I like the accessories that they come with as well, the little sunglasses, the popcorn bucket, or whatever it is. I'm not super in love with the other two, so I'd be cool with not getting those. But I do hope that maybe I could somehow get these, maybe from the Littlest Pet Shop Stop or something, I don't know. But yeah, if not, that's okay. I do like a lot of the new pets that will be available to Americans, and I'm planning on getting a lot of them. But I do think that that set in particular is very cute. So here are the first exclusives. So let me know what you think of exclusives because I know that some people think it's kind of cool and other people, like, especially if you're not in Canada, they might find it unfair, they don't really like it, but I guess there will be exclusives so we can expect to see that. So I won't be able to get these, but there are, for example, Walmart exclusives, I would probably be able to get those. Time for day six of the advent calendar. 
the aftermath of yesterday when I struggled to open the window for day five. As you can see, I put some tape here to put this piece back to make it look sort of back to normal. And as for today, it looks like we have another small window, so I'm guessing this is going to be either an accessory or a pet. But since the numbers have been consistent so far, I think that today it's going to be a teensy. But the only way to know for sure is to open it. So let's go. It is an accessory, okay. It's kind of wedged in there, as they typically are. Okay, I got it. Okay, so maybe the numbers, maybe the color of the numbers doesn't mean anything. I don't know why then that some of them have, you know, like here, like three reds in a row. Okay, so what is this? This is a, it's a little scarf. So yeah, we... We're talking in day two of Vlogmas about the plastic scarf that the new rabbit is coming with, and some people didn't like that. But this is a tiny bit stretchy, not a whole lot. But I guess they did make some plastic scarves in this generation of LPS, so we already had some. But the new one is a different design from this, so this is just a purple scarf. See, like, some texture and detail on it. So I'm going to put the scarf on the husky we got from day one. I don't know if it's meant to fit a pet of this size, but maybe it will. Okay, yeah, it does fit. And it probably fits multiple other kinds of pets as well. Maybe not every mold, but a lot of them. I think it looks pretty nice on the husky. Do you have a favorite Christmas tree ornament? Let us know. Thank you for watching. Also, November 26th was the Christmas decorating at my church. Here are some of the trees I helped decorate. 